Welcome to the back rooms, 600 million square miles of nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, and the endless background noise of fluorescent lights, not to mention all the entities ready to slap your ass back to level zero. Now the way you end up in the back rooms is by no clipping out of reality, trip over your shoelace and fall through the floor. Welcome to the back rooms, accidentally hit the B button in an elevator. Welcome to the back rooms, make the mistake of playing one of my shitty games. That's right, welcome to the back rooms. So after nearly shitting my pants watching a video made by a 16 year old in Blender after school, I decided, hey, why don't I turn this into a game so I can scare the crap out of my friends? So let's start off by making the first back rooms level, named level zero by the back rooms community. Now the good thing about back rooms is that the levels are incredibly simple to make. Making environments, terrible. Modeling characters, terrible. Modeling props, atrocious. But making back rooms? Call me Michelangelo because I'm copying and pasting these cubes around like a true artist. So after setting up the room, I just added some textures and slapped on a post-processing material to look like it was filmed in the 90s with a handheld camcorder someone got for Christmas. Now the issue is that this is a tiny pre-built level and considering the back rooms are 600 million square miles, which is 10 times the size of every single continent combined, we're gonna need to figure out something else aside from copying and pasting this level for a couple thousand hours. So we're going to use something called procedural generation to create the level, which is basically just using math to create shit. So when you used to obnoxiously ask your math teacher, are we ever going to use this in real life? Well now is that time. All those hours you wasted bored out of your mind learning geometry and trigonometry and sine or sin curves or whatever they're called. All I know is that the blueprint I used to make this is a sin against the Unreal Engine Blueprint Bible. But somehow it miraculously works and as you move through the level, more rooms spawn around you. Now you're probably wondering, how do you even get out of the back rooms? Well, you can't. According to the wiki, you can simply traverse the levels until you make it to the end. Yeah, it's actually a level called The End, and we're gonna make it in a future video. So if you don't want to miss that, hit the subscribe button right now or you'll no clip in your sleep. Now before we start adding more features, I went through the effort of getting this game greenlit on Steam so while you're at it, wishlist the game on Steam because it's free so you have nothing to lose. <laughs> now walking around in endlessly generated backrooms doesn't sound like much fun. Infinite abstract pain. So to turn this from a walking simulator into an actually enjoyable game, we're gonna add entities from the backrooms wiki. So level 0 has entities called Howlers, which are tall, disfigured creatures with a distorted and messy appearance who have a slight humanoid shape. Wait, is this just describing me? Now Howlers are familiar with the structure of level 0 and know where their victims are, but level 0 is considered a safe level and interactions with entities are extremely rare. Oh, hi there. Now, I don't want to spoil how every entity works until you actually play the game, but he's going to make your life very difficult. <laughs> to escape the back rooms, you have to find one of these randomly generated rooms with a ladder that brings you to level 1. Level 1 is basically a creepy looking parking garage with hallways connected to it. It's also called the habitable zone, but trust me, by the time I'm done making this level, it's going to be the inhabitable zone. So after blocking out the level and applying textures and decals to everything, I managed to get this early prototype of the zone with some hallways leading out of it. Now I'm not an environment artist by any stretch of the imagination, clearly. So before the game releases, I'll probably go through everything with an actual environment artist to fix up all the rough edges. So the way you escape this level is by checking each door to find the one that brings it to the next level. Sounds simple, right? Wrong. The lights are running low on power and flicker off every now and then and once the lights are off, you better be in one of the hallways or the entities that show up in the dark will wreck you. The entities in this level consist of skin stealers, scratchers, facelings, and hounds. Some scary shit, right? Now I don't have time to make all these entities in this video, so we'll just make the scratcher. So scratchers are long slender beings that are grey in color. Although they appear slightly humanoid in form, their bodies are extremely disfigured and they have sunken white eyes. Wait, why is every single backrooms entity just a description of me? Well, this is the scratcher here, and if you can stealthily avoid being in the parking garage when the lights go off and find the exit, you'll move on to level 2. Now this level is something directly out of your childhood nightmares. And now, Nightmares 2. 
Just a dark, narrow tunnel filled with pipes that seem to infinitely stretch in both directions that can provoke claustrophobia in anyone. So I tried to model the level after a reference picture and ended up with this. Which again, I'm not an environment artist so it looks a little rough around the edges but it'll all be fixed before release. To make it infinite, I used procedural generation yet again to generate new chunks of the tunnel as you walk around. Now walking through this doesn't really put any pressure on you. You can just relax, sit back, and hold W while enjoying a cup of coffee. Well, I don't like that. So I threw in a lighthead entity who follows you around so you have to keep on running for dear life. If you manage to find an exit in the window of time before he reaches you, then congratulations because you just moved on to the next level. Now making the backrooms levels in order would get kind of repetitive and a lot of the levels are pretty boring, like level 6 which is just a room with the lights turned off, level 7 which is just an endless ocean, and level 10 which is literally just a field of wheat. Yeehaw! Howdy! So we're gonna add a level that gave me some weirdly scary nostalgia called level fun. Now it reminds us all of those parties we would go to as kids, so I modeled it after a place I used to go to. Not that I've been there anytime recently or anything. So I added the fuzzy carpets, the eerie orange painted walls, the plastic tables, cups and chairs, balloons, and of course, arcade machines. Now this level is made up out of hallways and smaller rooms, so generating the level fully procedurally would be pretty difficult. So I broke the level up into small pieces that I could just mix and match together with attachment points that connect to the older ones. Then just use the same algorithm I used for the previous pipe level and now this one works too. Now it's time to ruin the party by telling you that you're not alone here. There are entities called party goers. They're creatures with cartoonish faces and yellow tinted skin. So they're basically Marshmallow with John Dice holding a balloon. The best way to avoid party goers is by not letting them see you. As soon as one of them spots you and starts playing nursery music, it's over for you as all of them will start to track you down. At this point, the only way to avoid them is by hiding under a table. Now to escape level fun, you need to find a room with an LED window while simultaneously avoiding party goers, which is a lot harder than it sounds. I've been hiding under this table for two hours, can one of you guys just kill me already? So those are all the levels I have time to add in this video, and I'm going to be adding a lot of other levels and entities, so if you're interested in playing the game and want to see the progress, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. One of them just might announce the release date, which is going to be pretty soon. 